In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how spray paint does or does not stick to a ceramic coating. Hello, thank you for watching Wax on Wax Off Pro Detailing Ceramic Coatings. This is a video I've never seen anybody do. I've never tried it myself, but I wanted to give it a try because uh, I know coatings were originally developed and discovered uh, some 100 years ago, some 50 years ago. Uh, Anti-graffiti um, for coating heating elements and other things that are going to be exposed to chemicals or high heat uh, to make them more durable. So how does spray paint react on a ceramic coating? Um, I'm going to be using this, I just happen to have it, bonds to all types of surfaces. Um, so I'm going to spray it on and let it dry and then um, I'll come back to the video and then we'll see how easily it wipes off and what's needed to wipe it off. Yuck, that's ugly. Looks like it's drying pretty fast. Um, see some overspray. Well, let's see if an um, all-purpose cleaner will remove this. Actually, it took a long time to dry. I sped it up with a heat gun. Um, this paint usually dries pretty fast. So we're going to try an um, undiluted all-purpose cleaner to see if it will remove it. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Now, you know, maybe if we let it cure for multiple days, it would be as easy to remove, but... Look at that. That's incredible. Like I said, this stuff dries pretty fast. It's designed to stick on plastic surface surfaces, which this coating, or factory clear coat, is essentially plastic. Now this coating is a multi-layer. It can actually be polished without removing it. So maybe in another video, I will leave it on for longer. But you know, I don't want to drive around with paint on my car. But maybe another video I would I could do one where I could leave it on longer. Um, this is not any kind of clear coat paint, so it really doesn't need days to cure. Um, I'd say that's pretty incredible. The fact that uh, an all-purpose cleaner is able to take it off, I'm quite impressed. So that just that demonstrates the self-cleaning properties, you know. So let's pretend that's dirt. Dirt's still going to stick to it, but it comes off a lot easier because that's what the coating is designed to allow the dirt to move off or across the surface more easily. And then when you throw a no-rinse into the mix, which a no-rinse very easily and quickly safely removes dirt from the surface. So it's like a really good one-two combination, the coating being the best, of course, um, but a combination of a no rinse and a coating, you know, if that was tar or mud or something like that, and I've seen paint, I've seen road paint come off just as easy on a car after multiple days that's, that's coated. So anyway, um, that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want me to maybe leave it on for longer and see if it comes off just as easily or... Maybe if trying it with a heat gun was good enough um, and only being, you know, five or ten minutes. Uh, leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.